Hello folks, been a while since I've made a video. Uh, this video is not going to be about lottery or uh, trash trucks or anything like that. What I want to speak to you today about is genetically modified products. Uh, when you go to the store, uh, it can be difficult to know when you pick up something if it's genetically modified or not. First of all, labels are confusing, very confusing. Uh, they purposely try to hide things. You have to know what certain uh, names mean. But he, the other day I was looking at something that I had been doing for a long time and that's I had been buying my baking powders, a special kind that's aluminum free. Aluminum free is the best kind to get simply for the fact that you don't need aluminum uh, to be eating aluminum. Aluminum is associated with Alzheimer's. How much, how many times it's caused Alzheimer's or all that, I don't know, but I've heard it and heard it and heard it that aluminum causes Alzheimer's. Well, I just don't want it. If I don't have to eat it, I don't want, to want it in it. And in a pinch, when I run out, I have bought a brand that naturally does have the aluminum in it and I only used it until I could get some more. But this one is a little more expensive and it's aluminum free. But what I want, what the purpose of this video is, is that things are changing and what I would like to do is show you if my camera will stay going. It quit on me a while ago. Uh, what I would like to show you and it's a glue, it says here it's a gluten-free product. It's double acting. Uh, let me find where, where I read. Yeah. This I find very interesting. Can y'all, I hope y'all can see this. Non-GMO. I'm beginning to see this on more and more products. It may be very small and it's not on a whole lot of products, but I am beginning to see it. I remember when it was unheard of non GMO my camera is sorry and I'm sorry that it's doing like it is uh, non GMO that's one of the things the reasons that I, I made this video today is that I think it's beginning to happen it's it's a slow thing but it's beginning to happen uh, more and more products I find especially those like in your supermarket <clears throat> that are uh, of organic nature it's getting where now it's getting a little bit more commonplace to see the words non-gmo which i am glad uh, there's so many products that that uh, are not labeled and you have to guess uh, you know and you just have to study it. it's all i can tell anybody that's trying to trying to watch what they're eating but anyway I try not to buy products with high fructose corn syrup in it. Uh, I try to buy products that have as much uh, natural ingredients as possible. And of course, the word "natural" is just 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 a plaything for the big food industries. You've got to watch there too. They'll tell you that this is all natural, and then you'll find some ingredients on the label that just didn't Mother Nature didn't put them in that product but when it was a whole product so you know it's it's tricky but i think we all can can buy and choose good foods but i really want to stress this aluminum free that people should use that if you've got the other old baking powders put it to the side throw it out get you some it doesn't matter i'm not promoting this brand but any brand that says aluminum free baking powders by all means use it especially if you do a lot of baking this one here uh, the ingredients are cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate, sodium aluminum, sulfate, and something I can't pronounce, mon calcium phosphate. Well, anyway, the, the other part that I wanted to explain to you here, and I almost forgot, uh, it says on this label, mono calcium phosphate, sodium bicarbonate, cornstarch, made from non-genetically modified corn syrup you can't i can't hardly put this on here because it's so small that is the thing that i really want people to get a hold of i've never seen them say stuff like that on a label before it's it's things are changing 
people are, are finding foods that are non-genetically modified and the food industry ignored us but now there's so many people and it's been such an uproar that you just can't ignore us any longer so I just wanted to bring that to your attention and uh, I'm going to post this now and thanks for watching